So here we go. I finally upgraded my main PC in Windows 11 earlier yesterday and here is my experience. I'm gonna talk about everything that I have went through and let me tell you I was on Windows 10 Pro of course and from there I went into the insider program and I signed up for that. Then I just selected the beta channel and from there I just updated to Windows 11 directly. Now there are some requirements for Windows 11 on your PC and this I'm talking about on the like latest modern PCs because on this particular PC I have a B550 Aorus Pro AC motherboard and here I have a Ryzen 5 5600X and a GTX 1070. So yeah, this is a pretty modern kind of PC. Yes, earlier I was doing videos on Windows 11 on the i5-7400 but that was quite an old PC but in Intel it is really like easy to do to enable TPM and stuff but in AMD it is a little bit different I would say but yeah the methods are pretty much same I know there is a PC health check app with that you can check out the compatibility of your PC on Windows 11 but I would say you can just go into your BIOS and do these steps that's how you can enable it the support for Windows 11 so you don't need to actually check it but you can of course check it with the PC health checker app if your PC is compatible with Windows 11 or not right out of the box but now on this particular PC I did have TPM enabled already but let me show you how can you do that in your BIOS so right now we are into the advanced mode as you can see and I'm gonna show you what things you need to enable so first of all for Windows 11 of course we need the TPM to enable so on this AMD motherboard you just go into the settings this is a B550 series motherboard so from this actual settings I'm gonna go into this miscellaneous settings so let's just hit right and here as you can see I have this AMD CPU FTPM on the bottom and right now as you can see it is enabled right now so pretty much one of the first things that you do for Windows 11 is to enable TPM inside your BIOS for the same thing you might find it inside security or somewhere but yeah first thing you need to do for Windows 11 is to enable FTPM or TPM inside your BIOS. So once you enable the TPM, you are good to go even if you have the secure boot disabled. But let me share my experience over here. So I just upgraded to Windows 11. After that, I tried some gaming. Why not? So I launched Valorant, but it was showing a TPM 2.0 error and that was showing also that I need to have the secure boot enabled. So yeah, that error popped up and the Vanguard simply kicked me out of the game. So it was showing some 1067 kind of Val error. So yeah, Valorant was not simply working. I was pretty pissed. So for that, you need to boot into your BIOS again. And right now I'm gonna show you how can you disable the CSM settings and enable secure boot on this particular motherboard. And you just can enable secure boot if you want to. And then just run your secure boot in the Windows UEFI kind of mode. But here, let me actually show you what I have done on this particular BIOS. At least on an AMD 5600X system, you go into the boot section. Then from here, let me show you, you just enable this secure boot. And right now, as you can see, I have this secure boot in easy mode. Make sure you have that. Let me actually show you. From here, you can have the secure boot on easy mode. This is the CSM support. And make sure this is disabled. If this is enabled, that simply means that your secure boot is not enabled. CSM enabled, that means secure boot is not enabled. So that's why you disable CSM first, then you get your secure boot option. And from here, let me actually show you. As you can see right now, my secure boot is enabled. It is showing as enabled. And here, you just go back from here. Then your preferred operating mode, you just select easy mode on this particular motherboard. On your specific motherboard, it might show as the Windows UEFI kind of secure boot mode. But yeah, you need to enable this to actually run games like Valorant. Valorant's Vanguard needs this thing to be enabled. So yeah, you need TPM 2.0 for Windows 11. And of course you need to have secure boot enabled if you want to like play Valorant in Windows 11. Once you have done that, just like save and exit, then you can reboot to your system. So yeah, this is how you can fix it. And right now my Valorant is working perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. So yeah, right now I can play Valorant without any issues or any other games. So yeah, because of this anti-cheat thing, you need to have the TPM 2.0 and secure boot enabled like the way I just showed you. So here in the about section, as you can see, I'm running Windows 11 Pro version 21H2 and the OS build shows as 22,000.194. 
If I open the Windows update and if I go into the Windows Insider program, here as you can see I'm in the beta channel right now and this is the update that I'm using. Of course I can switch to the dev channel or release channel depending on the updates. And if you're wondering about my PC specs again, here are all the specs as you can see I'm running a 5600X two 16 GB sticks of course you can see from right here and in the start menu of course this is how it looks like. To be honest the start menu I'm really not liking because of this app section. Well you get pretty random kind of recommendations over here but I unpinned them all and I added the apps that I needed. So yeah I have custom pinned like the apps which I'm using. You have to like spend some time to actually customize this panel. So that is one thing of Windows 11 that I kind of hated but yeah there is no other way around it. So let me just open the Microsoft Store and this is how it looks like. In the library let me actually show you I did like check for updates. Let me just go home and over here we have this kind of animation once you are hovering around stuff and if you open a particular app you get this kind of animation. Everywhere it looks beautiful as you can see all the animations of the store are very smooth and if you minimize the store and if you maximize it just notice how cool it looks the opening up animation looks very cool so here in the display settings this is how it looks like and my two monitor setup looks like this if i scroll down more as you can see this is a 2560 by 1440 resolution monitor this is a lg32 gk 650f you can check out the monitor review from the cards or the unboxing and we have the advanced display settings right here and as you can see i'm currently running at 144 hertz so yeah that is working totally fine but this display is not HDR supported so yeah I can't really test that in Windows 11 but yeah Windows 11 does have HDR support. Now on this big monitor again the start menu actually looks small in my personal opinion. Now let me show you a couple of apps like the calendar app looks like this. If you click on the three bars it looks like this. You can go into the settings if you want to from right here. This is how the stock calendar looks. Of course you can go to the calendar from the bottom right corner too you can see it quickly from right here and let me actually show you some other stuff like this volume panel of course the volume panel looks like this and you can increase or decrease the sound from right here of course still it looks like this of windows 10 for me at least i'm not really sure if there is a new kind of volume up or down kind of thing but yeah with the keyboard shortcut of like volume increasing or decreasing this is how it looks like still so yeah and this panel looks like this again we have the Wi-Fi right here and we have other networks then the Bluetooth is right here airplane mode night light etc options are there you can edit and add more kind of things like the mobile hotspot then the nearby share project etc you can add from right here you can keep adding stuff if you want to so yeah all these options are there you can edit and add one more thing you might be noticing is this kind of network stuff so yeah if you want to have this i'll make a separate video about this internet monitoring kind of stuff where you can monitor your internet speeds with this in windows 11 so i'll do a separate video of this but right now let's focus on this windows 11 update the calculator app still looks like this and yeah it is pretty cool i did make a video on the version 194 of the beta channel and yes this is pretty similar the photos app let me actually open it and yeah this is how it looks like as you can see this is a picture of my new keyboard and of course this is how the new photos app looks like you can switch between the photos from right here you can select any one if you want to and from right here you can edit as you can see there is the edit image option if you're going to edit this is the new editor it has these kind of filters and stuff and we have this adjustment option so you can increase or decrease the light if you want to so yeah a lot of options are there and we have the clarity kind of option and the red eye spot fix etc options are there you can save a copy from right here or you can save the image directly so yeah all these options are there you can adjust or like increase or decrease stuff the photo editor is really really cool the new one and you can see everywhere it shows this rounded kind of corners you can also draw some stuff quickly if you want to just like this and you can like do this pin stuff so yeah everywhere there is new customization and that is really cool and while I was editing the video, I just remembered that there is the new paint and this is how it looks like. Of course, this is a whole new design. You can see all the rounded corners as you can see again and we have these kind of brushes and yeah, this is pretty new kind of interface that you are getting here and you can draw some stuff if you want to and as you can see, there is the importing option and if you go into the file, this is how it looks like. You can set background wallpaper from right here and we have the save as options and stuff and this is how it looks like 
in the white theme of course even though my whole ui is in dark theme this is showing up in white theme for some reason but yeah of course the background will be white but this ui of paint should be dark in my opinion but yeah this is still a beta so that's why it may change in the future but yeah this is how it looks like you can draw these kind of stuff so yeah paint is really new over here it looks new it looks fresh and that is great as you can see we have all these marker options and stuff of course i need to select something else i guess for this not really sure i forgot how to paint so yeah this is how it looks like right now and everything everywhere is pretty cool right now i would say now right clicking on the desktop looks like this you can of course refresh and you can go to the next desktop background and stuff from right here and we have the personalization settings and if you click on show more we have this kind of refresh panel the old kind of look you get but let me actually show you you still can't do the like compress stuff with rar from right here but for that you have to click on show more then you can like add to archive or something if you want to do that so yeah this is how it is as of right now almost forgot to talk about the taskbar and this is how it looks like of course everything is centered right now and i love the fact that this has been fixed and of course everything like the start menu appears from the center no issues but in the taskbar this is really weird that earlier we could click anywhere in the taskbar even on the empty area and there was this kind of menu from where we could open the task manager or something or we could open run or we could open the apps and features power options everything but right now you have to right click on the start icon itself to actually get these options like anywhere else if you click then you will only get the taskbar settings and that really leads you to almost nowhere like why would you go into this setting like for most of the important tasks we need this kind of menu but that simply only appears if you right click on the start icon so yeah that's how it is pretty painful i would say now let's talk about some of the things that i don't like in windows 11 that is let me actually show you by creating a new folder so that i can give you an example i mean look at these two folders side by side like can you tell from right here which folder is like empty and which folder is not it's really hard because you might see once you open it as you can see it is an empty folder and once you open this one this is a folder where it has a file so yeah and right now just notice like these two folders side by side you can't really notice which folder has files and which folder does not if you're noticing this side has this darker kind of look that will simply mean this folder is empty so if you see a white stuff right here like a white paper like this small i mean the icon should have been a little better if this side showed a little more of the white that could have been the solution but i would say as you can see you can see a little bit of darker spot right here by which you can get an idea if the folder is empty or not but yeah definitely it will take some time to get used to these are very minor things but yeah it will make a huge difference while you are daily driving a particular voice of course we still have the widgets and stuff right here and you have the weather right here and if you click here we have the lock sign out etc option and this is how the power menu looks like of course you can put the computer to sleep or shut down or restart everything and i have tried everything like the geforce experience drivers everything is working fine i haven't played all the games but i just played valorant that is working fine i think all the games should be working fine and in the drivers let me actually show you i do have this windows 11 ready drivers like the version is geforce game ready driver version 472.12 so yeah with this nvidia gtx 1070 i have this driver installed everything is working fine like the overlays and stuff let me show you i am not really sure if you can see it but yeah there is this like overlay and if you go into the settings and stuff everything the recording and stuff with the nvidia shadow play everything is working fine no issues and if you go into the settings let me actually show you you do have this in-game overlay right here also steam was taking long time to actually open after installing the windows 11 but right now as you can see it's totally fine no issues also i'm currently recording this audio with audacity and that too as you can see is working perfectly fine no issues opening the apps is completely fine let me actually open as you can see telegram is opening fine i'm opening it for the first time i guess in windows 11 open fine let me just open some other things like word so yeah word opened pretty quickly let me open something else like excel so yeah that too worked totally fine 
let me just close it up let's open something else like powerpoint so yeah everything is opening pretty fast and snappy as you can see now let's open a browser like the brave browser that too open pretty fine let me show you the task manager now and this is how it looks like of course you can maximize or like change the size of this like this and we have the cpu usage right here of course and you can see the other specs that i have right here so yep and as you can see this is the gpu usage it also shows the temperature still so yeah this is how the task manager looks like of course you can put it in the corner just like this if you want to and if you want to see the benchmarks as you can see i tested it with the uh, geekbench 5 the scores are not that great pretty much in my opinion as you can see i got 1503 single core score and i have got about 7858 multi-core score but these scores are pretty low when compared to the older scores that i have got in windows 10 with this ryzen pc at least so yeah ryzen pcs may be like getting hit with the performance in windows 11 at least that's what i think with my first impressions because let me show you this score from right here i have got this much score earlier like this was in november 24th 2020 and this was on windows 10 pro and here just notice my like scores of the cpu the same cpu ryzen 5 5600x as you can see from right here i still had same ram of course 32 gigs 3200 megahertz and here just notice how much score i got earlier i got 1625 score right here in single core and I have got 8,672 score but that has dropped to 1,503 and 7,800. So just notice the difference. This is the old score that I got in Windows 10 in 2020 and this is the new score that I got in Windows 11 in 2021 of October. Pretty huge difference I would say. So Ryzen CPUs are not really benefiting from Windows 11 that is clearly seen but yeah we need to wait but yeah we will see what happens in the future with windows 11 and ryzen cpus after october 5th 2021 also the cinebench score you can see from right here with cinebench r23 i got this 10246 points i'm pretty sure earlier i got more than this but as you can see right now this sits i9 9880h and the other cpus you can see from right here but yeah, this score too is quite low considering this is a 5600x Zen 3. Earlier I got 11,000 plus points that I do remember but I'm not really sure how much exactly it was. You can see the video from the card. I'll show all the benchmarks in that video when I bought the 5600x. And the next one is the single core score. As you can see, I have got about 1456 points from right here. And you can see it sits between like the 5600x actual score which is there in the cinebench and there is my cpu score like single core score is 1456 which is almost 100 points lower than the official score of like the 5600x so yeah that is quite low it even sits below the i7 1165g7 in single core which is kind of like shameful in windows 11 at least as of now this is how the situation is even though it shows windows 10 right here it's not but in cinebench it still shows as windows 10 right here but yeah you can see the build difference the build shows as 22,000. i was just trying to upload this video almost finished but i just found out another thing that is the new emojis let me actually show you over here if you right click here as you can see this is the menu that pops up of course you can click on the emoji and right now this is how it looks of course this section is completely new from windows 10 and i see a huge difference if i switch to the emoji as you can see it looks definitely more like a phone so yeah definitely it is better earlier it was too small to see but right now the emojis you can notice are pretty much way way better and let me tell you all the apps and all other stuff like my files and stuff are totally safe they did not get removed after updating to windows 11 or something if that is something you are worried about so yeah i finally switched my main pc with windows 11 and my experience has been really great so far i'm gonna enjoy the windows 11 on this particular pc and yeah i'm really waiting for the official october 5th launch but even before that my experience has been good but yeah that dragging and dropping in taskbar is still not there which really pisses me off but yeah i couldn't wait anymore to switch to windows 11 
So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Please share this video with your friends if you feel like. This is Sito from KD Index signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.